hello 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 everybody how are you guys doing it is a wonderful wonderful day here and of course every thursday i come on live to share something really deep and some introspection about what i've been working through and what god has been sharing with me and so i want to get started today speaking about why we need to make sure that we are connected to god and connected to ourselves so first off if it's the first time that you're checking me out if it's the first time you're joining me hi lacy how are you doing i just wanted to say welcome my name is zani byron davis and i am a hypnobirthing coach that's a side i'm also a mindset coach for women of faith christian women i like to say okay and i work with christian women who are and i want to say new but we believe in god we trust god but we are not connected in the way that we are feeling powerful enough we are not into the word into the scriptures and we're not living the life that we really desire we are not living the life that we know that god is calling us to live but we do believe that God is there and he's working on our side I know because I have been there myself I've been in a space where I've been a Christian since I was a teenager and yes I've been walking with God and seeing him doing miraculous things in my life but I got to the point where I knew I needed to go to a like a deeper level a higher level I wanted to go like bigger goals and bigger dreams right and there was a time where i felt like if this wasn't from god and i was wondering if god wants this for me and so i wasn't giving it my all because i kept doubting that this was something that god wants for me and so that is why i'm going to be sharing with you today why it's so important for you as a christian woman to be able to be connected with god on such a deeper level and connect with yourself because that is the only way that you are going to feel confident enough to go out and take the actions that are required for you to to take for you to get the desires that you have and that were placed in your heart by God okay this is the thing your desires are from God and this is exactly what I help my ladies through with my discover your inner power program I take you through that exact step that I needed first going to God with such an open heart allowing him welcoming him into your life getting so deeply connected with him it's not about religion it's not about Christianity in the sense of religious things and things that we feel that we've called to do and feel things that we feel that we have to do it's not about that it's about connecting to God on a deeper level in which we know the will that he has for our lives that we know that his desires are our desires and we get to a space or oh, let me just take off my notification and then we get to a space where not only do we feel confident with in ourselves but we are confident in God and his word and that is the most important thing and the one thing my mom had always said to me growing up and it always stuck with me throughout my life is that you do your best and God will do the rest right I say that again and this is a mantra I work through my entire life you do your best in life, in your goals, in your dreams, in your desires, right? And just trust that God is going to take you over the finish line. He's going to do the rest. His supernatural power, his miracles are what are going to come in and take you over to that space where you just didn't think that it was possible for you. Do you know how many times I've passed exams, flight with flying colors, A pluses, got jobs that I didn't think that I was qualified for, done things that I didn't think was possible for me by me just doing my best, knowing that this is what God has Call me to do i went in there prepared did what i needed to get done and just, just allow god to do the rest the parts that i couldn't get through and that is the mindset that we need to do we need to be able to get into a space where we know that god is always with us he's walking with us that he wants exactly what we want as well that our desires are lined up with his and then we can take the action and what action you may ask when you're connected to god and when you're connected to yourself the actions come they come and you know and you feel and you trust that this is from God it's not from anybody else and that is what it comes from the confidence comes from you knowing like knowing like you know and like you know that it is from God and it is for you and that is where it connects to so let's get into it right and why is it so important so this is how I help my power framework I use a powerful framework that's I entitled power and we go through prayer being intentional right with peace using praise we also go through things like our emotions understanding what they where they come from we go through um things like um 
accepting of yourself, opening up yourself to love and without wavering, like not wavering in your faith and fully trusting that God is going to take you where he wants to take you and that that desire that you have is from him and he is already working through you already, right? Then we go into other things such as like releasing and relaxing and receiving so these are things in which i have come basically brought together to help us to not only connect to god even deeper but connect to ourselves because i truly believe that as a christian believer if you do not trust yourself if you do not trust that your desires are important if you do not trust that you are important that you are loved that you are worthy that you are deserving that you are enough right now if you do not see yourself the way that god sees you which is all of those things that I've just listed before, it is going to be so difficult for you to be able to achieve the goals and the dreams that you have for your life, okay? I know how it is when you have a big goal and you have a big dream for yourself and you're just wondering, like, God, how do I get to the next level? I know how it is when you're just so sick and tired of being in this space of lack and not enough and, you know, just feeling like if you don't know the next steps that you need to take and you're wondering, like, God, are you hearing me? Are you listening to my prayer? Why is it that things are not opening up for me? Why are things not happening for me? And it's because you haven't been able to connect to your deeper self. You haven't been able to connect with God on a deeper level, in that level in which you know, like you know, like you know, that what he says is true and it's going to come true for your life. And it is going to come true in, you know, what he's calling you to do and what he's calling you to be. And that's where trust and faith comes in we have to have trust like child like trust in god and we have to trust and believe that everything that he's doing is doing it for our good right everything i go through life just thinking everything is happening for me and not to me i always go through life thinking that god has a plan and a future for me and it is beautiful he has a hope and a bright future for my life and with that knowledge i do not have to worry i do not have to stress and i do not have to be bothered about the things that don't seem to be working for me in this moment and in this time okay so this is what i really wanted to speak to you about about like when i connect with who i really want to become and who is it that god is calling me to be and most of the times we get so hung up on the how how do i do this how do i get to the next level how like what steps do i need to take right but god is saying focus on the outcome focus on your desire focus on the thing that i have placed in your heart for a reason focus on that and let me worry about the how and that is where releasing comes in, where you trust enough to just let it go. Stop holding on to it so tightly and just trust that it's always going to come back to you. It's always going to come to you when you do. Well, okay, for example, you know, like a shadow of doubt that the sun is going to shine on, like the sun is going to come up on a morning, right? You don't have to worry. You're not going to sit there at night thinking, oh my gosh, I wonder if the sun is going to come up this morning, right? You know, like, you know. That the sun is going to come up right you don't have to worry about it it's a done deal and that's the same way that you need to be when it comes to your desires so whether it be that you're looking for the, your spouse or if you're like going for this job that you really desire or you're trying to start a business that you have this like dream around or whatever it may be you have to know that when you've already prayed and you've already placed it in god's hands and you've already trusted it trusted him with it you have to get to a point where you know that you know that just like the sun is going to rise in the morning that that goal that dream is already yours you don't know how it's going to happen you don't know when it's going to come to pass but it is because that is how it gets to be and when you're connected to god on that deep level that knowing is already there and i'm not going to say like we're not human and we're not going to feel scared and we're not going to be worried but that is why it's so important to just connect back with our emotions to feel them to accept them them, to acknowledge them but also be able to release them back just let them know like you know feel into them know that they're there the fear is there journal around that like god pray god i know that this fear is really deep for me right now it's really scary this is what i'm going through right now but i trust and i believe that you have this purpose for me that this is from you and i trust that you've already given given it to me right it's a done deal it's already mine and so because i know that i choose not to worry i choose not to fear i 
I choose not to be stressed out about this situation because it's a done deal. And this is where I support you, right? Because this is the thing. A lot of times we go through our days with all these limiting beliefs. Oh my goodness, this is not going to happen for me. Oh, this only these goals and those dreams are for other people and not for me. People like me don't experience stuff like that. So these are the things that go through our head on our minds on a daily basis, right? But when you get to the point where you can notice them and be like, you know what? That is just what I'm thinking, but that's not true. That's not real, right? I may be feeling that right now, but that is not the, that's not the real picture because I am enough. I am deserving. I see myself the way God sees me. I am loved, okay? And that is what is most important. Thanks for the hearts, guys. Thanks for joining me, right? That is what it's all about. Going back to who you are in Christ and knowing what he says about you and walking through life with that knowing, with that knowledge, right? So, on a daily basis, we're going to wake up with doubts, fears, worries, disappointments. We are human, right? But the most important thing is that we not we do not let those emotions define who we are in this moment, all right? You may be feeling disappointment. Let's say, for example, you may feel disappointed about a situation. That doesn't mean you are a disappointment. Remember that your feelings and your emotions are just like showing you what's happening in this space and in this time. It is not showing you the bigger picture of who you are and who you've been called to be you need to remember that ladies and it's okay to be worried it's okay to be stressed but do not sit in that feeling do not let that overcome you find a way to release it find a way to shift it whether it be through prayer through journaling going outside for a walk watching the tv show that you love whatever it may be go back to deciding and choosing to stand in the way that god has called you to what he's called you to be who he's called you to be that is to you are loved you are worthy you are deserving you are enough right you are all the things that god says that you are in in his book and in his promises that is who you are and you get to have your desires because that is what you're called to be all right and this is where we get tripped up every single day as human beings we let our feelings we let our situations we let the things that we are going through define who we are and that is not being connected to god we connect to god through our relationship with him we spend time in his word we meditate on his scriptures right some of the homework that i give my ladies to do is find scriptures that speak to your situation what is it that you're trying to overcome what is the the next big goal or the big next big dream that you have for your life right now and in this moment right go into the word see where the scripture is speaking that to you and i could support you with that as well speak into those things write them out write them out until you believe them put them in your brain that whenever your thoughts and your feelings come up and say that this is not possible for you you say no no no, no. i am fearfully and wonderfully made right like all the things that god says about you he says my peace i give to you i i get to have peace in this moment right the the word doesn't say i'm gonna give you peace when everything is perfect when you know your life is going great and your family is doing great and your kids are being well behaved no it said i will give you peace it doesn't matter what situation that you're in god's peace surpasses all understanding you are loved God moved heaven and earth. He sent Jesus to die on a cross for you. That is how loved that you are. So whenever you're questioning yourself or wondering like, is this for me? Am I even loved? Is God even listening? Is, you know, what is what is happening, right? You have to go back to these spaces of who you are and who you are in Christ. And this is exactly how I support you in my program. The Discover Your Inner Power program, it helps you to not only connect with yourself, but connect into a deeper knowing with God. You get into a relationship with him where you just know the desires that he has for you, that they align with his desires that he has for your life. You have given your will to him and you trust that whatever he has for you is bigger and better ephesians 3 and 20 is the scripture that i take for my life and for my business right now unto him who is able to do exceedingly abundantly more than we could ever ask for or imagine according to the power that is at work within us remember the power is already at work within you but what are you choosing to believe? What are you choosing to focus on? What are you choosing to reiterate and renew your mind with every single day? That is crucial because that is what is going to give you the power. That's what's going to give you the oomph. That's what's going to give you the supernatural well-being that you need to take it to the next level. This is what you're going to need to get out of your comfort zone. Get out of your lack and mental, like your 
lack mentality and your not enough mindset because it's so easy to look at what is happening in our lives today and it's so easy to wake up and see like oh my goodness this is not here like the partner that I want is not here the business that I desire is not here the money that I really crave is not here right but we have to remember that when we're able to truly just let go of what we are seeing, remember what faith is, right? Remember, faith is um, a substance of what is not seen. We have to believe in things of, that is not in our our reality, right? It's not in our mind, in, in our view at this moment. It's something that we are hoping towards, something that we have faith that is already ours. That is what it's all about. And this is why I'm so passionate about helping women like me, Christian women, who we know that we are called for so much more, but we have not experienced that deeper connection with God that we crave. We have not experienced having and seeing his miraculous power working in us. And that is because we have not surrendered. We have not let go. We have not allowed ourselves to renew our mind and to truly believe what is possible for for us when we are with Christ remember our faith is our superpower our faith is always our superpower because when we believe the things that we believe in that is what changes everything your faith changes everything for you remember what you believe about yourself or what you believe about your life is what is true and then when you're able to change that belief and see yourself in a whole other life, see yourself the way that God sees you, that's when things change in your life. Because then you are already that person who gets the things that you desire. Like, you know, you are already becoming that person by the way that you're feeling, the way that you're thinking. So therefore, the things that you desire are always going to be coming to you because you are already the person that you are when you have those things, right? I love to say like, you see, the word of God is a contradiction. God is a contradiction, okay? When, you know, the prophecies and everything was saying in the, in the Old Testament about the Messiah and how he was going to come, people were expecting like this, you know, king with thousands of armies and he was going to overthrow the Roman Empire and all of these things. But guess what? No, Jesus came. He was born in a manger by a woman to a poor family and he grew up just like a human, right? That's the contradiction about God and Jesus, right? Like we expect this huge thing, but God came as simply as ever and he went out of this world as like unexpected as ever as always okay he actually died and people were thinking oh my gosh i thought he was the messiah i thought he was gonna live forever he actually died but the obviously the most important thing is that he didn't stay dead he rose so this is the thing about god he's always doing things in contradiction he's always doing things like the opposite remember he said like you know we have to seek the kingdom of God and his righteousness and everything else will be added unto us. While the world is saying, go after your goals and your dreams. Go after the things that you desire. Work, 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 work. And God is like, no, seek me. I will give you what you need. I will give you the strength that is sufficient, the grace that is sufficient to get to your goals and to your desire. So today we have to connect back to God. We have to go back to him, ask him to really renew our mind, renew our thoughts, help him. Help us to see him and see him the way that he wants us to see him, to be able to surrender to him, to ask him through prayer to connect with us, to be able to show us, you know, exactly what we need to let go of, the things that we need to focus on, the things that he's desiring for us in our lives. And then we have to trust that we are enough to have these things, that we are loved as enough. And we need to learn to love ourselves in that way as well, so that we feel confident enough to go out and do what we feel called to do or do the actions that God is calling us to do. And only when we have those confidence is then when we are able to really show up and be bold and be courageous and know that this is what God is calling us to do when that connection is there that is so important and i know right now that you're feeling lost you're feeling stuck you may be feeling like you don't know what to do oh my gosh i want this desire but it just feel like it's not happening like everything's is just like not working for me that is what happens right but when we really spend time to really connect to god connect to ourselves and go back to who we were called to be who we are meant to be who we are created to be 
that is when things change. That is when we see things on a whole other level and everything that we desire, it comes to us so quickly and so fast because we are connected. We're connected to our message. We're connected to our story. We're connected to who we are in Christ, okay? And I cannot stress that enough. That is so important. I really believe that as Christian believers, that when we take that time to connect to God, to know him more, to be able to experience him on another level, to really believe in his manifestation, station to believe in his miracles that is when things just start to change in our lives because our faith is what is causing these things to come to us is this our faith is what is enabling us to do the things that god has called us to do and that is the most important thing we cannot do things in our own strength god says things may be pos- impossible with man but nothing is impossible with God. And if you remember that and you go through your days knowing that you are not doing this on your own, you're not walking this life alone because you commit to God, you make God your number one. He is your superpower. Your faith is in your superpower. You get to speak to him on a deeper level every single day and connect with him through prayer and journal and devotion. Then you get to experience life on another level. You get to experience ease. You get to experience flow. You get to experience all that he's calling you to be because you seek him first okay and it's two-sided i really believe it's two-sided i believe we spend time with him we get to know him more and then we also work on ourselves we get to work on our inner beliefs we get to work on what society has told us about ourselves because that's not true what society is saying to us work hard do this whatever whatever they're saying that's not true what you just need to do and what you just need to trust is god's word and his promises for your life he said that whatever you ask for in my name it is done okay you don't have to be stressed about getting these things you don't have to worry if they are for you you have a like a direct connection to god through prayer ask him speak to him god is this desire from you if this is not your desire for my life then please replace my desires with your desires and he will if you're going through your days where you just want peace stop ask him for the peace god i ask for your peace in this moment right now and i ask that you would just take away the fear the worry and the doubt and replace it with your peace in this moment jesus he will do it for you i want whatever as i said before we all have these emotional state that we get into. We are humans. God placed these emotions within us so that we can worship him. We can glorify him. We can fear him with a healthy fear, right? We can love him with everything that we have and within us. Those desires and those emotions are from God for a reason. But the enemy uses those same emotions to take us away from God. We worry, we fear that all the things that we want and the things that God has placed in our hearts are not for us. That is not true. That is why I always say, accept your feelings, feel them, acknowledge that they're there, and then release them. Go and pray. Ask God to take this away from you. Ask him to replace it with what he wants for you. Find ways in which that you can release it. Go outside for a walk. Have some ice cream. Take your kids out. Have fun. Choose. Everything is intentional within our lives. We have to be so intentional with the things that we do and the things that we say and the thoughts that we are having, creating and in our minds all the time. The scripture says, meditate on my word night and day so that it may go well with you. Now, I'm not saying be a Bible scholar, but there's a perfect way in which you just take some time every single morning to write down one scripture that that speaks to you. that's what i do in my journal every single day in my devotion in the morning i will write one scripture that's speaking to me today and i will use that scripture throughout my day whenever i'm doing something i will go back to that scripture whenever i'm feeling like a you know a feeling or emotion is coming up for me that i know is not of god i go back to that scripture and that is what is going to enforce and build that relationship with god and stay connected to him right because it is so easy for us to take our feelings and our emotions and our like our beliefs into what is it that we cannot have but what about if we focus on god and what he said that we can have who are you choosing to believe the bible says any thought any argument any belief that is like basically putting itself up against the word of god you need to tear it down you need to pull it down meaning you need to remove it and you need to replace everything that you are speaking and saying to yourself and going through your days with with the word of God and his promises for your life. Now, I have been there when I have just basically gone through everything with three scriptures that I have already just known and grown up with. One, that seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and everything will be added unto you. The other one was that God is worth
working for my good always. And the third one was always that God has a plan and a bright future for my life. It was always about that every single time. And that is what it's all about. It's about trusting that God is going to make a way. All right. And if you go through your days with these, like those simple three scriptures, like seriously, when things come up for me any single time, I would go back to the scriptures and I remind myself every single time that things are working for my God. Imagine if you were just saying these things to yourself every single day, how much more like you'd be able to accomplish, how much more of your goals and your dreams would you be living because you know that the plans that God has for you are good, right? And that's, it's, that's what it's all about. What are you choosing to focus on in your days? What are you trying to focus on when you go through your days? Are you letting the negative thoughts and emotions like don't play you what are you seeing about yourself what are you believing about yourself are you believing that what you desire is not for you and if you keep going through that every single day oh like you know i can't find this love of my life or whatever it is that you're thinking that is not for you then obviously what you desire is not going to come to you because that is what you are believing that's what you're saying to yourself every single day but if you go back to god's word and what he said about you and what you get to have and how you get to live jesus said that i came so that you can have life and that you can and live it more abundantly even if you take that scripture and you say it throughout of your days you're going to see such a shift because you are going to know and you're going to believe that abundance is always yours it is always yours it's always yours you don't have to do anything you don't have to be anything you don't have to be better like you just wake up every single day and you have abundant life you wake up every single day you are worthy the fact that you have like breath in your in your lungs you are deserving you are always enough you don't have to do anything and that's something that i remind myself every single day whether i show up in my business now or never i'm always enough whether i you know I'm cooking dinner for my family or I spend time with whatever I think I judge myself for wrong. I'm always enough. I'm always worthy. Everything that I do is always enough, right? I, you know, whoever I am is always enough. But this is the thing, right? If you have such a deep connection with God, he's going to show you the things that you need to change. He's going to show you the things that you need to sharpen up. He's going to show you the things that you need to learn and grow through. The Bible says if you ask for wisdom, you will receive it ask God. Simple. He has that prayer line for you to connect with him. You get to speak with him and you get to know. You get to feel it within yourself. People say it's intuition. People say it's self. But it's God. He's speaking to you every single day. But are you listening? Are you connected enough to know that it's him? I have been in a space before where I didn't know it was God speaking to me. But then sometimes he speaks so loud and so clear that you're like, okay God, I hear you. That's definitely you. But sometimes it's subtle and sometimes it's really like a little bit inside and you're like, God, is that really you and sometimes it's like you know what who do you choose what are you choosing to believe right now what are you choosing to believe about yourself what are you choosing to believe about what you get to have right that is the most important things so i want you to take that with you today journal about that like you know what are the things that you're believing about yourself what are the beliefs that you have about yourself i want you to go and write that are you gonna you know do i believe that i can have all of my desires do i believe that god is working for me do i believe that everything that i do and say is enough that that helps me to get my goals and my desires i don't need to be anything else i don't need to do anything else i don't need to you know pretend or be like any other person write that out okay and see how those thoughts and those feelings are holding you back are holding you back from the desires that god has placed in your heart look at that and see it for yourself and then ask god how can i see myself differently how can i see myself the way that you see me and he's gonna show you he will all right because he showed me he's like you know what you are loved and not just in love in a love sense you are loved through through everything you mess up you make a mistake you did something you disappoint yourself you're still loved and that made such a huge shift in my life and that's what i help my women with especially now learning to love yourself unconditionally the way that god sees you learning to love yourself through your mistakes through your errors through your disappointments through the things that you didn't do so well through the things that you're not able to accomplish right now love yourself because god still loves you he still forgives you he still cares about you and he says that you are not cancelled you are not cancelled in my eyes you are still the apple of my eyes and we need to see that for ourselves and when we can work from a space of of course we are loved that we can't ever mess things up that we are always good enough that people don't have to put up with us because we are amazing people created in god's images oh god image <laughs> person we are we are a person created in god's image that changes everything for you. 
you then operate from a space of full confidence and of course you always are enough like i was coming on live here and i was like god just speak to me with the message right and i realized it doesn't even matter i'm gonna come here and share what god has placed on my heart to share and it doesn't matter how much likes or hearts come up there i'm always enough i'm always worthy and that's what you need to remind yourself of every single day because we put this pressure on ourselves to be and do the perfect thing and to be people please us and so people will be happy with us and our family and friends would love us we are always loved regardless if we do things the way that people want it to or not regardless if we show up the way that people expect us to or not we are always enough and i want you to take that through your day to day you are always enough it does not matter who you are it doesn't matter how you've messed up it doesn't matter if you're not doing the things that people think that you should be doing or you're not saying the things that people think you should be saying you are always enough simple okay you're always worthy all right so if you're watching this replay and if you're watching live if you have any questions i really want to support you and i want to tell you about my discover your inner power program which is a three-month one-to-one program where i help christian women just like you and me to not only dive deeper into God's word and who he says about you but to be able to connect with him on a deeper level to be able to connect with yourself to discover your true self the one that God has created you to be to be the confident woman that God is calling you to do and to have and to be the being to go back to yourself the, to go back to the one that God created the soul right that person who he like placed on this earth for a purpose and for a reason go back to that and I I help you to connect to that. I help you to connect to God and his purpose for your life. I help you to connect with yourself. And then you start taking action every single day towards your goals and your dreams and your desires because you know they are from God. They're not from anybody else. And it's for you as well. They're placed in your heart for a reason because God has that purpose for you. And I want you to just know that it does not matter where you are right now trust that you have everything within you already you just need to dig into it you just need to uncover it you just need to let go of the limiting beliefs you need to reframe and renew your mind every single day and we do that with the word of god we do that with building a relationship with god we do that with just prioritizing time with god speaking to him and seeing ourselves the way that he sees us that is how i work you through that and i'm going to promise you when you're finished working with that three months with me one-on-one you are going to be a different person and you're going to be so excited you are going to be so full of life you're going to be so full of purpose you're going to be so confident in you and who you are who you've called to be and you are going to be taking actions towards your goals every single day so how does it work we're going to be meeting one-to-one on a zoom call every two weeks you have that one-on-one call with me you also have access to me on whatsapp every single day 24 7 you can message me oh, i'm feeling this way today how can i go through this i'm having struggle right now you know i'm working with clients right now and they'll be messaging me you know i feel so like overwhelmed with my time i am not using my time wisely and i was coach you and support you through that so you have that as well you also have access to all of my worksheets all of my workbook my own ebook that i've created i have an ebook that i've written about like my mindset around things that i've been able to create in my life and i've been able to accomplish a lot of things in my life that i'm absolutely proud of and i credit it all to god because it's not in my own power it was connected with him and trusting that everything that he has given to me is for me to use to give back to him to give back to others to live my life in the most abundant way that he desires for me So that is what you're going to get. I really would love for you to reach out to find out more about this program because I am on a mission. God has called me to help his people to rise up, to experience abundance overflow more than enough we get to have it all and no longer we're gonna sit back and watch other people live in the life that we want to live and say it's not for us because god wants everything that you want for yourself for you he wants it even more but he wants you to connect with him he wants you to let go of all the things that society is saying that you should and shouldn't have been we shouldn't be doing he wants you to experience him on another level he wants you to experience his miracles that he could show up in your life he could show up 
big. He could blow your mind exceedingly abundantly more than you could ever ask for or imagine. He wants you to be unstoppable in life and that is what you get to have with my support. Of course, you can do it by yourself, but maybe you need somebody who's going to be holding you accountable. You need somebody to be cheering you on. Maybe you need somebody to show you the limiting beliefs that you have about yourself and how you can shift them into positive beliefs. That is me. That's what I do for you. I'm your cheerleader. I'm your best friend. I show you. I encourage you. I support you to create the life that God has called you to live because he wants so much for you. It's unbelievable. He wants to have you to have happiness, peace, joy, abundance, overflow. I cannot say it enough. It is all about you. And I want to remind you of that. So go ahead, reach out. Let me know. Let's jump on a quick call if you want to find out more about my program and how I can support you. And I love, 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 love spending time with you here today. I pray that you've gotten some really, really good um, tips and you know, just good nuggets that you could th- take throughout your day. And if you guys are here and you don't have any questions, I really, really, really want to say thank you for joining me. And I will speak with you all very, very soon. Okay. Take care, my loves. Bye.